Okay, I do believe that thing is recording. Today is Wednesday, January 31st, 2024. I'm Kelly Renee. This is Sharing Our Shine. And there's a mystery under this cloth. Let's talk about it. I made it. On Sunday, January 28th, I finished my entry into the hashtag DP Big Butts 24. And I'm going to show and tell you about it right now. Okay, let's take a look at the entry into my logbook for this canvas. There it is. Hope you all can see that. I've shared it a couple of times on the channel. And my goal was to finish this within the month of January. And I made it by a few days. I'm just now getting the video up, but I finished it on January 28th. I started this canvas January 7th. Let me double check that. Yeah, January 7th, 24. I kitted it up and started laying the drills in on that date. And I finished it uh, late morning on Sunday, the 28th. Whew, it was a big one to me. It's a 50 by 60. It is a square. And it is a canvas that I got from AliExpress. I paid $42.85 for it sometime in November. And the store was the Evermoment store on AliExpress. It is 35 colors with the DMCs. And I've rated the quality of this of the materials, the canvas, the drills, so on and so forth, the toolkit, and any of the um, items that came with the toolkit, including, <clears throat> excuse me, a sticker sheet. Um, I rated the quality of the materials a 4.7 out of 5. And I am taking a little bit of it, uh, some points off because of some extra trash, especially in the black. There was quite a bit of trash in the black, but the drills themselves were of good quality. And there were a few glue issues as well. I also rate my satisfaction at the finish. And out of 1 through 10, 10 being the highest, I rated this a 9.5. I am extremely pleased with how this canvas turned out. So, let me not belabor the point. And here we go. Ooh, there she is. And because of my limited space, you all know about for now, I'm going to have to push it up a little bit so you can see the bottom of it. I will pick this up so you can see it up close. Yeah, big canvas. Or is it a big project? It's not a very big canvas. I mean, I've done bigger. But as you can see up close. I have painted the edges of the canvas. This is something I do when I have a finished in acrylic paint. And when I seal the canvas, I also seal the acrylic paint because I don't want it to chip before I can get it framed. But I wanted to show you how the drills laid in up close. Very sparkly very very minimal gapping very minimal this was a high quality kit now every moment i consider a budget plus vendor okay they're not as inexpensive as you know the usual budget sites but they're not as expensive as the usual premium sites so to me, I rate this a budget plus at $40 plus dollars for this canvas. Now with Evermoment and many of the um, shops on AliExpress, you get to pick what drill shape you want as well as the size. I could have gotten this bigger. I could have, I could have gotten it smaller. But having been diamond painting for a while, I kind of know... I'm going to see if I can get that glare off a little bit. Let's see. Is that better or worse? Uh, we'll go with that. 
Um, so when I looked at the image and I knew I wanted to get a square because of the detail in this image, it would be best shown. The best result would be in a square to get that extra detail. And I knew the size, the minimal size that I could do to get the image to really, really reveal itself. And I was thinking maybe a 50 by 70 ish. That size wasn't available. 50 by 60 was available. And combining that with the sh drill shape of a square, I thought I'd be fine. I feel that I chose a size that was acceptable to me. And with the square drills, I figured I'd have the right combination. And I am not disappointed. Bigger, of course, in diamond painting is always better. But I didn't need to go bigger. I really didn't. So I, I didn't go any bigger. I felt that I picked the right size for me and the right drill shape. <clears throat> so this was a lot of work. But I am extremely pleased with how it turned out. So much so, this will be getting a frame. And this will be going up. So, I'd love to hear your comments to see what you think. But there she is. She's done. Yay me. Did it. I made it. Um, I started this. Now, the event ran from January for the month of January. And I started a week late because I was finishing another canvas. And so, I was a little bit anxious about whether or not I would actually make it to the finish by the end of the month with other things, you know, that life brings to all of us. But I got it in just under the wire. Only a few days to spare, but a few days to spare. So it was good enough. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, hashtag DB Big Butts 24 has gotten some criticism because of the name of the event. The event was meant to celebrate body image. Um, I was a chunky kid. I was a, well, my teen years, I got a little bit on the lean side, but as I got older, uh, my chromosomes all kicked in and I started being, you know, a little bit of a plus size. And so I know when it comes to body image and what that can do, especially to younger girls, that get isolated and left out of things because of their size and being teased and all that. So when I heard about the nature of the event, I wanted to participate in it because I kind of lived that life. And this image to me, these are all plus size women. But as you can see, it celebrates more than that. It celebrates a sisterhood. It celebrates friendship. And it promotes diversity. It has all the things, it checks all the boxes. So when I decided to participate in the event, I had already acquired this canvas and I knew I had it. And it just, because of the positivity, these women are looking their sexy best and they are looking confident and self-assured. And that is what positive body image should be all about. So, when I decided to participate in the event knowing that I had this canvas, it was a no-brainer. I just had to pair the two together. And so, this is my official entry, and this is my official finish. So, let me know what you think. Let me just one more time bring it up a little bit closer. Now, I did do a little bit of a mica finish. I did some crowding up here. It's a little technique that I like to do every once in a while where I put too many drills in to get kind of that wavy pattern. I just did it up in here in this area over her wavy hair, just as a little touch. And because I did that, it caused some gapping over here. So I might have finished this area here. I'm looking through the camera. Just this light area. I did mica finish that, and I did do a little mica finish using that cream mica that I used on my French Bulldog. I did the skin. Some of the lighter skin tones here and here. Some of the arms a little bit up here and here. 
I think I did a little bit here and here and over this this one here. I didn't do anything on her face. I thought her face was just fine. But over the lighter skin tones, I did do a little bit of a mica finish before I sealed it. And the overall effect is just, it smooths out the look. You don't see any of the minimal gaps, at least close up. And I wanted this canvas because I am going to display it um, to be as pristine as I could get it. And this is the result of that. So let me try to move it up a little bit more. So you can see the shoes. Yeah, these women are looking their sexy best. So no complaints on this canvas at all. I've bought many um, canvases, diamond painting kits from Every Moment, and I've never been disappointed. Yeah, the price is a little bit higher than the usual prices, but you are getting the quality that you're paying for. Absolutely. So tell me what you think. Leave a note in the comments. And what do you think about the nature of the event itself? Let me know. Let me know. So, there it is. That's my show and tell for this finish. And I will be participating in the hashtag BarnLife24 event that Diamond Grandma is either hosting or co-hosting. And I haven't chosen for sure... Which of the canvases I'm going to do, I have one that's absolutely perfect. Well, I actually have at least three. And I haven't decided what my official entry is going to be yet. But that's tomorrow. I have to, I want to get started. I don't want to be late on this one. We have a shorter month next month. And I, again, want to finish the canvas within the month. So I'm probably going to be challenging myself again with whatever I pick. Um, one of the canvases that I have in mind it's a little bit bigger than this one and I think it's a square yeah I think it's a square so again I'm pushing the envelope but that's what I do okay I think we'll go ahead and end it there thank you for joining me yet again and as you go forward in your everyday life sharing your shine with others as you're doing so please remember to practice tolerance and respect with your fellow man. It's something we all need and deserve. And until we have some time together again, thanks so much. Take care.